the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. To the garden. And we'll start our discussion, open up with you is why did they hide? That that's 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 my opening question. And maybe that's why sometimes we can't hear from God, is because we don't wanna we're hiding from him. So we don't want to be exposed. Well when you first said that first thing and therefore in the thoughts of man. You know, when we talked last week about you, uh that Bishop was talking about, that was a good example of man. <coughs> One part of man was uh, brute beast. I think, and Bishop, that what you was referring to. And it, he was talking about here right now for false teachers and so forth. Uh, the, how, how, just, just, huh? Go ahead. Somebody said something. The, uh, I was looking at here is like, like verse three. Beloved, when I began, when I gave all diligence and write unto you of the common salvation, <coughs> it was needful for me to write unto you and exalt you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. <coughs> for there are certain men crept in unaware who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I therefore put you into remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord have to save the people out of the land of Egypt afterward destroyed them that believe not. And, and I think when we're talking about exposure to God is, He's going to get to see your godliness. He's going to see your, you know, all the different corruptions that you may have. But he still wants to work with you to move those things out of the way. And the only way it's going to be moved out of the way is through him, right? Anybody, anybody disagree? You can play, you play, you can play. That's, that's a word for it. It says you confess your sins. He's faithful and just to forgive your sins and to cleanse you of all the right. Exactly. And we I think ourselves, we would need him. Yeah. And I think the glory of the gospel. I mean, Brother Jackson, even to walk away with that, the glory of the gospel is listen, don't don't be afraid of your exposure to God. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and rejoice for the fact is that he's the one that's gonna do the cleansing. You know what I mean? He he's here to cleanse you of your unrighteousness if you'll let him. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the glory of the gospel. And that's why God is wants to be able to hear, who he wants us to be able to hear his voice. And he wants to get to know us. And we need, we need not be ashamed of him getting to know who we are. I don't care. That's what I was saying is, you know, it doesn't matter what you come as. It's a matter of believing and following his will and I don't know how long that takes. We we got to get into the fact that each person should be able to check, move it fast or change it fast to somebody else. We just need to know the answer. I just need you to believe. Yeah. I need you to believe. I just all I need you to do is come and believe in me, and 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 let me work with you. And and he's saying is I know you got some, you know you you if you're a murderer, come. You know. Mm -hmm. I, I'm still going to work with you if you're a murderer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come to you. I'll still work with you if you're a, a, a predator. Whatever. I, hopefully you're in jail. <laughs> but even if oh. he still want to work with you. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I uh, since we're, we're, we're focusing on hearing from him. Yeah. You know, and um, it, it's not really taught to hear, to try and hear from God. I mean, you, you, you're you even taught when you pray, you, you're just speaking, you know, prayer is just like a one directional thing. Right. You're taught that. And, right. and, and 
prayer is nothing more than communicating yeah. with God, having a conversation. So oh, you man. have to have a message, a messenger, and some feedback. Uh -huh. You know, so we we don't get wait for the feedback. You know, <laughs> there's there's no back and forth like like our conversation here. Right. So you're you're not taught that, and then you're just sitting there listening to a message and in in listening you're not listening for god in the message Amen. so while i'm now while i'm in a service uh -huh. while the message is being taught right i hear god yeah in the message i hear the holy spirit say no that does not line up uh -huh. come on with now. the word right Amen. that's taken out of content yeah. Yeah. you know i hear the i hear the spirit <laughs> saying that i i hear parts of the message and then the spirit starts speaking to me <clears throat> and i get a whole completely different message uh -huh. from the from the focus of the teacher because the holy spirit has access to me seeking uh -huh. to get an understanding Right. So we're not really taught that. Yeah. No. You know, we're 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 more so taught that this this messenger from God, you know, this pastor, this preacher, this teacher is the one that we're just supposed to get the information from and it's just supposed to be knowledge from God that they got mm -hmm. instead of getting the knowledge from God to the message that they're teaching, if, if, if I'm making myself understood. So there is a clarity and there is always a revelation to be had when there is a message that is given and there is where perfection is given. So uh, I, I, I truly think that to have someone say that they have not heard from God, hey, man, hey, that, that's that's tough for me. Hey, look, look, but I want to add this. I want to add this piece to it, though. Too that makes sense exactly about concerning hearing when you're hearing ministries and gospels and and uh, you know external sources. But how about the the uh, the battles that you have dealing with you needing to change? You know what I mean when you got some issues that God is talking you with dealing you know what say we said God is dealing with me on mm -hmm. those those are ones that I think some of those people don't want not you not everybody but some people they don't want to hear right well, you know I think many people <laughs> when they hear the spirit speaking to them about, about areas of their life come on now talk to me brother like for instance me there was a time where I always thought it was my ability to abstain from uh -huh. or to achieve. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Under my my power, uh -huh. my authority, right. you know, my strength. Right. And so when I get that and I hear that from the spirit, then I rely on myself and I fail <laughs> every single time. So you know, and that failure is just leads to more condemnation. Well, so then you kind of get scabbed over from that. Yeah. But when you realize Come on, bro. that if the if the areas of your life are being brought to the forefronts of your mind by the Holy Spirit, Woo. then you rely on God Come on, who will bro. supply all your needs. Come on. According to the riches, come on, you rely on him. And you know it's funny, you know, brother. I was thinking about it. while you just thought you said that. It's very interesting. Is that when I was when you was talking and we we're talking about dealing with God, mm -hmm. and, and and it came to mind of the scripture dealing with Cain and Abel. But really, we you know another it's another funny thing is we keep thinking the title is called. Cain and Abel, right? Because that's what this scripture gives us, Cain and Abel. Yeah. But what I'm more interested in, if y'all catch this, is that Cain was dealing, This was, just like you were just talking about, Cain was dealing with 
God. Elder, he was, Cain was dealing with God. He was sitting there and he said, and, but God, what it said, verse five it said, it said, but unto Cain in his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very rough and his continent fell. And then there's a conversation dealing with the inner, you know, obviously this conversation is not dealing with uh, Adam, Eve, or Abel. This is a conversation between a man, a fleshed cardinal man, obviously, and God. And this is not something that's, uh, what do you call, not unusual, but really probably the norm that people deal with it, they don't realize it. He said, the Lord said unto Cain, why art thou wrong? And why is that continent fallen? Mm -hmm. If thou dost well, shall thou not be accepted? But if thou dost not well, sin lies at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou and thou shall rule over him. Mm -hmm. Now, we know what happened afterward. And then I thought that thought it was interesting when he responded to God after he killed Cain, Abel. The Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel? He's very specific. Where is Abel, thy brother? And look at this joke of arguing with God. Well, <laughs> and he said, I know not. Am I not my brother's keeper? Go ahead. <laughs>